Oh, it's that annoying prick who peaks the audio at the beginning of every video, who? Anyway, welcome back to Dead Rising 2, off the record, don't tell anyone. I'm here with my colour commentator, Frank West, who's looking very colourful today. Last time, we advanced the story for the... Basically the first installment in many a video, and now having an Old West shootout, I recommend getting a six shooter for this bit, because otherwise the henchman can sort of machine gun stun lock you, which... It's something you do on a lot of the bosses, but it's not nice to return the favor, you know. So we're going to be taking down TK today. Oh, maybe we won't. I don't, don't want to spoil it. <laughs> and then the music stops. That's my favorite bit of the shootout. And then this other guy's like, hey, I want the music too. And sadly, the music will not play for that man, and he is dead. But we're going to stop TK from his daring helicopter escape. From making his daring helicopter escape, which has a six-hour time limit to complete. You know, he takes a long time getting the money onto the helicopter. Well, that doesn't even make any sense. You were the one that got kidnapped. <laughs> I should have let you get stabbed. That's what he should have said. Oh, this is my favourite line in the game coming up, by the way. Look at this. This is great. Becca, get, down. get down. Get down from what? <laughs> uh, he's still got that rope thing on his mind. That's why. Careful, you fu- Whoops! Oh, it's off the roof again. That's the third briefcase today. Like, he was perfectly careful with it. <laughs> That's how I'd react, in fairness, if Frank West came dressed like that. Now watch Frank West outrun a helicopter. Here we go. That's the only reason he brought Rebecca with him. Frank West could only photograph this. She has a camcorder. She's in the future. And, uh... Yeah, we caught him! That's some Sega base fishing right there. I like the guy that's sitting next to TK in the helicopter. He's just perfectly still with, like, this gormless look on his face. I don't know if it'll pan to him again. You might... No, it's not going to. But trust me, he had a pretty gormless look and it was brilliant. Now, for this boss fight, you actually want to bring as many useless objects as you can find, because the way you beat a helicopter, of course, is to throw bits of wood into its rotary blades. Uh, I decided to pick up a traffic cone at the most inopportune time, as I do. But now we're going to take down a helicopter, mano y mano. Rebecca's going to help us out by hiding in the corner and not getting kidnapped again. Which is probably the best way she could be helpful. Uh, whenever the light goes green, that means it's time to lower the helicopter again. You know, it's just arbitrary time. You can't throw guns into the rotary blades, that would be ridiculous. That didn't even hit- that just hit the side of the helicopter, but the force of it. God, they made those traffic cones good. Better than they make those cheap Fortune City helicopters. We can't let TK get away with his one million dollars. That will surely completely change the economy. It was complete. it was totally worth genociding an entire city. The one thing I don't understand is, the reason he did it was because the ratings on his show were down, right? Which is fair enough, you know. Oh, do you see that dodge? I, I was going to put it in again, but then I forgot to. But feel free to go back in the video and watch that dodge again, you know. I think it was a, it was a very good dodge. You won't be seeing any more of them for the rest of this but very easy boss fight that I somehow managed to completely mess up. And that's me getting the patio table. That's the one... <laughs> Look, I just want to grab the beer. And he grabs everything else. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to be standing there a while if I want to get rid of all those playing cards. But then the genius idea hits me. What if... What if... Yes. I know you what you're all thinking, and we're going to try it right here. Can you take down a military helicopter with a deck of cards? Ain't talking about no magic, the gathering... Tomb of the Elder helicopter boneyard cards. I'm talking about the real deal. Ha! <laughs> Unfortunately not. I think I actually missed my opportunity to get the helicopter. Yeah, then I do. Ugh. Oh, come on, Frank. That was a pitiful throw. Now, if you're as bad as me, then don't worry. There's plenty of healing items in this corner. But you want to try and save a bottle of vodka? Because there's one survivor in the game that if you give him a bottle of vodka at this particular point... He'll give you some Zombrex in the save room. It's a quest. It doesn't come up because, I don't know, it doesn't come up on this run for some reason, but 
It does happen. I'm not making it up. Hopefully Frank won't start puking now. We're so desperate we're raiding the garbage for vodka. Full bottle vodka in the garbage can. That's Fortune City for you. Sharing is caring. <laughs> that was perhaps the dumbest time to jump up there, but I did it anyway. Oh, come on. I dodged that. Um, so TK, right, he's going to get away, and that would be bad. <laughs> oh, the authenticity. That that overarm has always been powerful by Frank West. I think that probably would actually mess up a helicopter in all fairness. I don't really know. I've never flown a helicopter before, as you might be able to guess. Oh, here we go. His rampant alcoholism's finally caught up to him. And Rebecca doesn't seem to be capturing it on camera very well, but... She's a junior photographer, you know. You pick up your skills as you go along. I don't know how I dodged that, in all fairness, I should have got hit. But there's plenty of objects to throw into the helicopter blades. Lots to have fun with. We're going to try out a saw blade this time. Saw blade versus helicopter blade. Who's going to win? Find out well, immediately when Frank gets over the trauma. That's all those wars he's covered, catching up to him. Oh, really? Am I going for the strobe light again? After it went so wrong. Right, you can actually damage the helicopter by shooting it as well, which is how I'm going to finish it off. Right here. Just getting to a safe angle where it can't shoot me. That was not a safe angle. I was just showing you what a safe what not a safe angle was. Alright, we're going for the finishing shot. And there we go. We finally defeated uh, TK Detweiler. Detweiler! This is what happens when a helicopter blade breaks, by the way. I don't know what happens to the other two people in this helicopter. As you can see, they don't seem to be in there anymore. They served their purpose in the story. I think it was time for them to go anyway. <laughs> Sunglasses stayed perfectly on. That's what they call a solid object. I can't really talk. Mine are on as well. It's a million dollar note. I hope so. What do you think of that, Rocket Raccoon? Well, I don't think so. I'm a fucking hat, do I? Oh, yeah. Forgot you were sensitive about that. I like how he just makes the assumption that ratings are down. As I, I don't think I finished this thought, but like you don't get paid based on how many ratings your show gets. Like no business, not even like journalism operates in that way for the most part. <laughs> Only two million views this week. I mean, <laughs> he was the host of a zombie killing show. I suppose you've got to be a bit off the level. Oh, where's his sunglasses gone? Oh, he must feel naked right now. What's he doing here? Isn't he the host of that show? <laughs> Go work, Sullivan. Go take your brain medicine. <laughs> Let the adults sort this out. No, you don't know that! <laughs> I don't think that was ever established. Or maybe it was. It was a long time ago. Oh, really? Well, I'm still keeping an eye on your friend until the rescue, just to make sure. <laughs> okay. I like how they're also frothing at the mouth over a zombie outbreak. I feel there's some really legitimate folk here. Oh, was that coming from your FCS? Fortune City security professional standpoint. How many kids have you busted for smacking arcade machines today? Well, none, because they're all dead. But usually it's about three. Hmm. Well, I think the handcuffs have already confirmed that, and the fact that there's basically nowhere for him to go, because he doesn't know the vent can get you out of there. Alright, we'll just leave you with him. I'm sure you won't betray us and become the final boss. Absolutely not. And there's Sullivan. I got a new skill move, which we're never going to show off, because... 
I forgot. I'm sorry. Oh, my screen's gone to sleep as it does 10 minutes in. That's just what my screen does. That's one of the post-commentary problems. I don't know how we'll ever overcome it, but we're working on it. Saving again. Showing it off just like last episode, if you'd forgotten. <laughs> Nicolas Cage is long dead. At least his career is. Thanks, Sullivan! Please don't betray us! Continuing onwards! Oh, I missed the timing of that shit! I'm gonna have to do this whole fucking video again! Alright, so... <laughs> we're now gonna take on another psychopath called Snow Job. This one's one of my personal favourite psychopath battles. Not... Because, oh, you see Frank's been practicing his katana swings. Look at this one. Oh, oh he showed that piece of floor. What's floor? Hey, hey, hey. What do you think of that one, Rocket, ra Rocket Raccoon? Well, you know what I can't think of a fucking hat. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. You only asked two minutes ago. Sorry. There's a lot going on. All right, here's some zombies. Because they're in this game. and They're all right, I guess. They're still doing zombie things now. This was awfully suspicious when I first saw it as well. But that's what happens when psychopaths do They get all this area to themselves. Fucking selfish. Frank showing his awareness skill. Yes, he's also lasted quite a while in this zombie outbreak. I think you should... <laughs> Append that to, I freaking hate clowns with chainsaws. Most of them are all right guys. I, gotta go. I don't know who looks more ridiculous in all honesty. I don't know why Frank doesn't want any ice cream. That's not even like a catchphrase. He's just being mean now. Look at this clown working in a zombie outbreak and getting burned by Frank West. Oh, here we go. Now, he'll obviously recognise Frank West, even if he's wearing a raccoon on his head. Or like a Mega Man fucking helmet. Or a psychopath mask. He'll still be like, wait, you're Frank West? It's his hubris. His stench of hubris is just unrecognisable. I mean, unmissable. Unrecognisable. There's so much hubris in this place. Oh, Adam! Yes! The one that tried to murder me with chainsaws. You can jump in the gun a bit here. But here we go, Frank's gonna confirm it. I'd hate to meet your sister. How about I always took you as more of the strong, silent type, Frank. Fucking hell. I'm glad she's dead. She obviously was playing a fucking different game. Maybe she was thinking of Brute. I bet that was a line from the original Dead Rising too, with what was he called? Chuck. Because he was the strong silent type. And they just didn't change the line. Now, when you're fighting Evan, who's like Adam, but he's got an A at the start of his name, hasn't he? And he's, he's got a couple of that, another letter, the V's a d d Anyway, when you're fighting Evan, zombies are going to get in your way, of course, because that's what they do. Well, that was good time. <laughs> it's like I rehearsed this. Anyway, you want to bring some food, because there isn't actually that much food lying around for this fight. There's a few ice creams here and there, but they're not very good regen. My, the best strategy you can employ is to get close and smack him, but the problem is Dead Rising 2 physics are going to screw you over, because look, you can't hit him when he swings his leg back. It's kind of a nuisance. As you hurt him, his stilts get lower and lower, I think. I'm honestly not sure. They probably don't, that's just my imagination. That's me doing a perfect roll. When he does the little stampy stamp, you want to get back. Honestly, if you just want the boss fight to be easy, pull out the six shooter and chuck. I was about to say chuck Green in, but I meant to say Clint Eastwood him. He also has this move, which is basically a free hit, which is rather annoying. <laughs> no. Fucking sight of fast. Stealing zombie screen time. Now I make the big mistake there of staying too long and then running back in when he does a special move. Never underestimate a clown. You know a lot about underestimating, wouldn't you, uh, Evan? If he was in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, he'd be uh, he'd be happy because you know he's a he's a pretty happy guy. I'm sorry you thought that was going somewhere. I was just speculating, you know. 
for his future acting career. I don't know if the guy that voiced him is actually a midget. Probably. I mean, that, it's called typecasting after all. I don't know how he's his brother. He's just... He's the brother of the clown you killed in Dead Rising 1. For some reason. Oh, here's me dying. Oh, you know it's coming. Okay, I think it's still so definitely getting shorter. <laughs> I love the way he sort of wanders around you. Meanders around you. As you can hear the... Uh, what they call the teensies from Wind Waker... I've got a great musical career running around with this guy as a sort of poncho. Posse, even. Not poncho. Poncho is something you wear on you. Fuck. Words just don't make any sense. Now he's whistling the Willamette theme, which is just an insult. <laughs> Look at that roll! That was so excessive. He went down on the ground and side rolled. He doesn't even have a comeback. He's literally lost for words for the first time in his life. Alright, I've got half health, but he's got half height, so I think we're going to be good. Now, the great thing about this boss fight is the zombies can actually hurt him. As you, as you can see, he's having a bit of a party over there with the zombies. Uh, I put him out of his misery because I wanted to actually have a proper boss fight, you know. Give the audience what they came for. He... Unless you have a quick step, you cannot catch up with this guy. He is a speed demon. We just kicked a midget. That just happened. So the best strategy is to wait for him to jump at you and then dodge roll out of the way and give him a smack -a rooney Yeah, the zombies have got it good. You see the way they're smacking up? Yeah, they know the tactic. <laughs> that was great. I'll smile off your face, I think he just said. Which doesn't make much sense because... No, you need to have a face to smile. <laughs> this guy was programmed by a schizophrenic. Attack the zombies, no attack friends, no attack the zombies. Alright, now, if you think the game's been gruesome so far, then you ain't seen nothing till you've seen this. Unfortunately, he kept all his ice grenades on top of his truck. He thought because it was a clown car, the car itself could get smaller. He got the concept wrong, you see. Rookie error. He's nothing like his brother. And unfortunately, he doesn't have the most broken weapon in the game like Adam the Clown in Dead Rising 1 did. Just standard issue for clowns, you know. Oh, we all know where this is going. I don't think Frank even feels sorry for this guy. Oh, oh, that's horrific. I wonder how that would even feel. <laughs> I just killed someone who probably had a really rough childhood. So unlike his brother, who had the best weapon in Dead Rising 1, he has one of the worst weapons that so... Oh, God. I hope I don't get my video banned for that. That car had a bottom. I didn't know cars had bottoms. Anyway, his gun is the worst gun in the game, and it's so bad we're not going to be showing it in this Let's Play, because I'm not going to waste your time with it. I mean, it's pink anyway. Why would you want a fucking pink gun? You girl. Oh, I pressed the wrong stop button. I'm just getting the hang of this post thing, alright? Work in progress. 